Hey guys, what's up? By uh, Sactatron here from One Hive Gazette, here with the next video, and this is the war recap of the war against the Swarm. Good CWL war, uh, both sides had a solid war, just the Swarm got uh, more stars and that got them the win. Uh, let's go ahead and go through the bases, just talk about kind of what the difference was. You can see they got all of the Immoral Thieves Town Hall 11s two-starred, and um, just going down here, most of the Town Hall 10s, I believe, were three-starred, uh, so pretty solid war to them. Uh, that's going to get the win, I'd say, you know, probably over 50% of the time if you only live three if you only leave three Town Hall 10s two-starred, um, it'll do it for probably most most wars. Uh, we left that one Town Hall 11 one-starred, unfortunately, and then um, had a little more trouble on their Town Hall 10s, plus one of their Town Hall 9s got away. So just, uh, I guess we struggled in a little multiple areas. I don't want to get too in-depth because I wasn't around that much for the, what the war is actually going on. And uh, I don't want to, you know, spew out false information. But bottom line is they had a better war and uh, good job to the Swarm. I think we had uh, one player unable to attack, which didn't help. But um, wouldn't have made a difference in the grand scheme of things, most likely. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at some of these attacks, though. Uh, starting with how about a Wii. Um, <clears throat> you guys are going to have to bear with me a little bit because I have just recorded a video. So, um Getting, you know, a lot of talking tonight with another four or five, six attacks in this video. So I'll do my best, but we have How About a Wii, and right off the bat, that's a good thing to do. Drop those archers at the beginning rather than the end in case you don't get the eagle taken out. You want to have that for sure percentage, um, so get that taken care of at the beginning. You typically have plenty of time if it's just a two-star attempt. Um, but he has the Balks queued up and has a pretty substantial queen walk. You can see the five healers we talked about in that uh, recent video, whether you should bring four or five healers, and this is a max Town Hall 11 base, which would suggest, yeah, five healers. Um, you're encountering the CC troops, which most likely will make him use the ability right here. I think he pops it, or does he hang? Oh, he hangs in there. Um, that took some guts. I, I might have panicked, because when you see those Valks come out, they're almost always going to cause you to have to use the ability, but not in that circumstance. So uh, hats off to we for for hanging in there and uh, not panicking or anything. Uh, you see the queen's going to step up, get the eagle taken out. So good job controlling her pathing. Uh, basically just going for the town hall at this point. The percentage is pretty solid up to, I think, 18% as soon as that eagle goes down. And uh, the queen will get more buildings as well. So... The town hall is the main thing to be gotten here, and you can see if you guys watched the last video uh, where I showed my top two favorite attacks, uh, the town hall 11 base was very similar. These guys, I think, kind of put them in the middle to try to defend against the two star, and I think for the most part, besides the one that got away from us, uh, we were successful on them. Uh, the queen steps up, takes out the inferno. Uh, everything's making its way on in. Now the king and the bowlers and the Valks and everything are kind of pathing towards the bottom, but that's okay because the queen is going towards the town hall. That's all he needs. It's actually probably better because his bowlers and stuff will get a few extra percentage points, which will get him up to 50% right there um, as soon as the queen takes out that building. And uh, she'll hang around for another few seconds before she goes down to all that damage. But a 53% two-star, solid job. Good stuff there. Let's go ahead and move on to one of these uh, one of these Town Hall 11, just kind of a regular dip attack that we see. Good ones from this war. Um, not your standard air attacks that we've kind of focused on over the last week or so. Going to do a few more ground-based attacks, but I wanted to show this one because uh, it is a little bit less common. It's the baby dragon, the mass baby dragon attack, and uh, it works well against these bases that have all the air defenses off to one side. Uh, so this is Thief, and he's dropping the golems, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, a few kind of strategic hogs right there. I call them sprinkled hogs. That's how I kind of coined them. But it's just on those distracted point defense to get a few extra uh, buildings taken out for a cheap value, create the funnel, you know, get those defenses, all good stuff. And uh, right there drops that jump, which does a great job on all the golems except for one. Um, that one golem is not going to reroute back in, but it's okay. It's doing its job tanking anyway, so no big deal. Here come the bowlers, though, fresh out of the CC, making their way up behind the queen. 
CC Troops coming out, has that second jump, which actually doesn't do a whole lot, just connecting pretty much one more compartment, but I believe it'll give um, some access to the defensive queen, as well as to that final air defense, so it's still important that he drops it. Um, has a heal, I think, mixed in there, and these baby dragons should come out in just a moment, and once they do, um, there's not a whole lot to stop them. First baby dragon on in on the archer tower, and yeah, you can kind of deploy them strategically, or surgically, to a certain extent, um, just kind of where needed, where there's not much air coverage, where you can get a few cheap archer towers. Uh, I think he'll deploy the main group right here, um, starting to sprinkle them in. The queen takes out that last air defense, so it's pretty much all forces go. Uh, I think the defensive queen did go down. So just two Teslas, two archer towers, and a wizard tower, only threats left up. Um, I like those balloons while the uh, baby dragon was tanking. Uh, not, not a bad thing to throw in there, a few balloons, um, they work well with the baby dragons, and uh, it works works very nicely for Thief. <clears throat> uh, we have, looks like, I think he had plenty of time left up in this attack. Things are moving pretty slowly, so time can be an issue, but I, I, I didn't see how much time was left up at the beginning once the attack started. Um, you guys can go back and look that if you want, but either way... Because it is a 3-star, I assume he has enough time to get the job done. Last few baby dragons for those few defenses. The queen did go down, and he has one baby dragon, which I guess he won't even deploy. So maybe time wasn't that much of an issue. Nice attack the thief. Uh, crush that base. Let's take a look at a few more Town Hall 9 attacks. 24 is the next one, going pretty far down to look at Nitro. Um, this one, just bringing back some you know old-fashioned... You know, a little bit of golems, a little bit of valks, a little bit of balloons, a little bit of hogs, just a little bit of everything. I like these attacks, kind of a, uh, I can't think of the word right now, but uh, I guess a grab bag attack. I don't know if that's the right term. I'm kind of spacing out on it. But whatever it is, it's uh, just a nice combination of different troops. Kind of takes me back to the old days, but it does have that new feel with the baby dragons and the skeleton spells. So a little bit of a mixture of everything. Goes ahead and drops down the golems uh, just to get the tanking, the uh, baby dragon. It's a good thing he dropped some final troops at the beginning because if he did all his funneling after the golems were down, um, with the rate that the golems are taking damage, they would have popped pretty quickly. So at least this way, he still will get some tanking value out of his golems uh, a little bit deeper into the base than he would otherwise. I think it actually works out well. I don't know if this was planned or not. It was hard to tell by the way he dropped his queen, but she's going to avoid the lava hound. So <clears throat> I probably should check if these are cleanup attacks that might give a little more context. Maybe I'll do that in the future of these recap videos. That's probably a, a helpful thing to do. But uh, regardless, he's getting the three star and uh, just sending those Valks in with the two jumps. I love those double jump Valk attacks. They're very powerful. Had a few heals for them as well. Then a few balloons, a few hogs, just whatever the, you know, the part of the base called for. The queen goes down, but she got some awesome value. And uh, just everything going everywhere. Pretty crazy right now. Uh, his troops are so spread out. But a few more hogs for that cannon, which is almost down. And, oh, spring trap. Didn't see that the first time I watched it. Um, looks like it'll take a little bit longer than planned. Uh, that, that golem and that valk are kind of doing some work on that wizard tower. Lava hound stuck on them. The wizards will pop it. And that skeleton spell, nice little usage there to take out the cannon. Uh... I guess, you know, I, I have to assume this is a cleanup attack because he probably would have brought at least one poison for the CC troops um, if it was something other than the Lava Hound. So, yeah, I think that's safe to assume. But anyway, uh, you can see the Lava Hound did pop, so things are getting a little bit dicey. But he has, you know, the King at full health, a few Valks, so nothing too concerning. And uh, in just a moment, this thing will be cleaned up. Had a few skeletons in there working on the gold storage, and the King comes in and finishes it off. So... Nice attack to Nitro. Let's move on to, uh, we have two more Town Hall 9 attacks. Bit of a Town Hall 9 heavy video, but um, that's a good thing, I think. All right, let's take a look at a kind of a hybrid attack. Um, we're seeing these, we're seeing a few different types of air attacks at Town Hall 9. You guys have seen the, um, the more air heavy attacks where you drop down the queen, maybe on her own to get a few... Uh, strategic defenses, you might zap quake and air defense, then you might drop your king to take out an exposed queen. But the other side of the equation is the kind of more invasive kill squad based air attacks that use the bowlers, that use the valks, 
that just invest the quake spells, invest the rages, invest the heals, just bring in everything almost in that kill squad and just trying to take out everything but the shell of the base. Uh, poison on the queen to slow her down. His troops get very spread out here because that core was so roomy, but eventually they make their way back and take out the defensive queen. Just two air defenses left up. He drops that one skeleton spell, but I don't think it'll get that air defense because nothing's tanking those uh, defenses in the area. So it looks like that air defense will still be left up. <clears throat> uh, at least for the time being, sends in that Lava Hound on the fourth and final air defense and uh, uh, balloons to back it up. No spells for the balloons, that's the only weakness, but typically um, if you're able to devastate the base enough, it won't matter. There just won't be that much left up after your kill squad goes through. The queen is nice enough to take out that air defense, still has her ability, so she'll be able to drop aggro from that archer tower and the Lava Hound will go over pop um, on the archer tower but it will at least um, have tanked a little bit and the balloons plenty of them to finish off the archer tower a few pups for cleanup a few archers of his own to drop and uh, nice attack to fideli i believe i skipped one in the process so we're gonna have to go back up uh, to number 18 um, as soon as this fast forwards to a close now let's go back up and take a look at the last attack of the war recap okay um, Killer Knot, that's the, uh, uh, wait, is this the right one? I honestly can't remember. I think I might have wrote down the wrong number, but, um, guess I'll do, oh, no, I actually, I think I remember which one it was. It was, was it 16? And that was the mass mi minion attack that I showed a few days ago. Um... Kind of spacing out here. Uh, maybe it's our guy was number 18. I wrote down the wrong. Yeah, I think that was it. I wrote down Rambus. Yeah, for I wrote down 18 because I saw the attacker's number, not the defender's number. Kind of a common mistake I tend to make. So sorry to the uh, to the attacker that was almost on the channel, but not quite, uh, whose attack I was going to show. But um, yeah, I wanted to show this one instead. It's kind of a, you know, a bit of a hog heavy attack which is something that people were predicting, you know, we're going to see a ton of mass hogs, but I have to say, um, and you know, this isn't, this is just to, to mass hogs, um, into hogs in general to supercell, but hats off to the giant bomb adjustment. I think, um, it worked out well. And I, I said, um, from the outset, I don't want to sound like I'm bragging or anything, but I did say, you know, the mass hog, um, buff or whatever, the giant bomb nerf is not going to be that big of a deal. Um, that was kind of my initial reaction. I thought it might make hogs a little bit easier, but I said it wouldn't make that big of a difference at Town Hall 9, and I think it really has it. Now, this attack is kind of one of the somewhat less common attacks that uses more than 20 hogs, and, you know, maybe it's just the other things are powerful at Town Hall 9, and hogs are powerful as well, but air is more powerful, or what else we see? Uh, the golem-based attacks are more powerful. That could be very true, but... Um, whatever the case, hogs are not working in spam. You can't just drop 30 hogs in 3-star base. Um, and I, I don't know exactly why, but uh, my suspicion was, hey, we're still going to see, you know, we have the new bomb tower. We're still going to see certain uh, defensive layouts to kind of defend against this. I don't think it's as reliable, especially at Town Hall 9, which isn't that hard to 3-star. I don't think it's as reliable as certain other strategies. And I think that's proven to be fairly true. But as you can see, when used correctly, like how Rambus does, it is still very powerful. And uh, he's going to kind of push his way through the base here. Ton of hogs left up still. Has a rage. I think that was intended for the queen. But he gets to pretty much swag it if he doesn't use it on the hogs right there, which he does actually. Um, a giant bomb goes off, but actually two giant bombs go off. And that's enough, along with Tesla, to take out his hogs. Um, that being said, he still has four hogs left to deploy. I'm not sure if he'll even deploy those. Yep, there they go. Um, one goes flying to a spring and uh, can't quite get it, but the, the Archer Queen gets one shot and the Tesla is down. Three-star awesome attack. Good war, though, um, to both sides. Was a fun one to kind of be able to uh, hop in, hop online, watch a little bit of it. Couldn't watch that much, and I couldn't show the last 10 minutes live because it was pretty much already over. Weren't that many attacks left to do. Wouldn't have been that exciting, but hope you guys like the recap and all the stuff you've seen from it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, Sectatron out.